Hi guys. Here, meet Zafir. Hi guys. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you a DIY trick using a glue gun. We're gonna be making our very own planter. It's actually quite easy. So, let's go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For this, you'll be needing, of course, the most important one, a glue gun. And you cannot use a glue gun without your glue sticks. And then a container. Any container will do a vase, a bottle, or whatever. So just, re just remember that the size of your container will depend on the size of the air plant that you're going to put it in. Because we're going to mold our new hanging plant or using this container. So if your air plant is big, like the one that we're gonna use now, this one, the air plant, that we're gonna use for this is a Tilantia fasciculata. So as you can see, it's quite big. So for this one, the vase that I'm gonna be using or the molder that I'm gonna be using is this face. So I just hope that it will fit. We'll just see. Then you would also need a hand cream or any cream or lubricant. I think a petroleum jelly would help as well. Okay, so we're gonna use this later. So the first step that you're gonna do is to put hand cream or any kind of cream. I really, I'm really not sure what other creams will work here. I've also seen in some videos that they're using powder. So the main purpose of us doing this is for the plastic or what you call this, the glue stick not to stick on the vase or the molder that we're going to be using. So that's pretty much it. It's also good for your hand, so you know, don't waste it. Now we're going to take out our glue gun, load it with a glue stick, and we're going to start molding. So, we're going to start here. So you can make whatever pattern you like. Depends on you. Go crazy with it. Okay, so just a precaution, make sure to hold the container real tight because it's freaking slippery. Trouble if we break the shit. Because of the hand cream, it's making it's making the face so slippery. Well, it's a good thing actually because that means our glue stick will not really stick on the container. We don't want that to happen. Guys, just a tip. I think it's better if you're gonna use a bigger glue gun. I'm using a smaller one right now and I've just loaded it like... And I've loaded it like five times already. Okay, so that's it. So we'll just wait for the rest of it to dry and then we can start taking it off. And you might ask, or you might be wondering, why on earth would I bother making this thing right here if I can just buy one at the store? 
if I can just buy my own planter at the store. Well, this one right here is cheaper and it's very artistic. You can do whatever you want with it. You can, you can make your own design. You can create anything you like using with this glue gun and using this method. So, I think it's dry enough. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to take it off. Wish me luck. Wait, I think some parts. Okay, so just remember to make sure that all the parts are, all of them are connected. That you're not losing, that you're not missing any parts because you know maybe you're making it too thin and it's just gonna break. It's just gonna break if you're gonna take it off. So that. For it to dry up, and you're already sure that it's all dried up. Try to try to take it off the container. This is the tricky part. You need to be extra careful in doing this because you might either break the container or the hot glue. Didn't and my cat is on the table. Here. Say hello to Safira. Safira, lie down so that they can see you in the camera. Here, there's a picture. Okay now go. Go 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 go. Now, ta-da! Now here's our new planter. It looks like the one in the, you know, the one that they use to, to wrap up apples or oranges. Yeah, it looks like this. <laughs> so you just have to clean up the excess string, the strings here. I don't know what you call it. Okay, so if you want to clean Looking planter, go ahead and do that. But I think it's not that bad. It looks kind of, looks like a spider web. It looks kind of cool actually. So I think I'm just gonna leave it. I think I'm just gonna leave it like that. But here, take a look at what we've just made. See, and it's not. It's actually, it's kind of durable. It's not that. I think it, it won't break easily unless if you really intend to do so. Now, so set this aside and we'll get our Talan Shelf Esculata or airplane. And let's try it. Ta da! See? All you just need to do is to put some strings here and here, and then you can hang it on your wall. Or or on your ceiling or anywhere you like it you like to hang it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is if you want you can also go ahead and kinda pimp it out or bedazzle it. So put this aside. So for this I'm gonna use some things that my friend gave me. She actually gathered them from the forest, like literally. And then when she knew that I create my own planters and do some decorations in my, my air plants, she gave them to me. Okay, these are actually artificial moss. You know, really you can buy them in stores. These are just excess from my stash. This is a tree bark. And she also, so my friend also got this from a tree. I don't know what it's called, but it's also real. So, so I'm thinking maybe we can use this as like the backdrop or the background of the planter. So we're just gonna glue it right here.
it looks pretty already. Here's our finished project. See? Not bad, isn't it? So, can you see this in stores? Of course not. So, cool. Now let's see what it's going to look like with our airplane. In Simple, easy, creative, one of a kind. So, that's it. Can't wait to hang this on my wall. Okay, so I wanted to hang this piece on my wall because I've been wanting to have my very own um, wall garden or vertical garden, whatever you call it. So I wanted to have my very own that. In doing so, you can either use a nylon string or this string or whatever string you want. It doesn't really matter, it's up to you. So usually in displaying my air plants, I use nylon strings because it you can't see it from afar. It, it's transparent. So when you use it in hanging your air plants in the wall, it gives the illusion that your Safira just fell inside the box. Okay, so I like using nylon strings in hanging my plants or my displays because it, you really can't quite see it from afar. It gives the illusion that the plant is floating or when you put it, when I put it in the wall, you really can't see it. It gives an illusion as well that you've just mounted the piece directly on the wall, which I don't want to do because it actually ruins the wall, our wall, my wall. So, so you're gonna have to tie both ends of the string or with an Allen string on the opposite sides of the planter that we've just made. So like this, let me show you. Here is one side and here's the other side okay just make sure that you've tied it so tight so that it won't fall if you know what i mean so this is what i did so you need to tie it on opposite sides of on both sides. that was the cat and look it's floating it's like magic can you see the string see if you want, guys, you can also send me some pictures of the planters that you did. If you did the same thing like mine, you can also send it to me on my FB page, that's at along with me, or on my Instagram, that's, I don't know if you can send pictures on Instagram, I don't know. You can check out the other DIYs that I've done on my Instagram account, that's at Litz Valencia. Now here is Jinx. She'll be the one to say goodbye. Okay, Jinx, say goodbye. Bye. 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 Jinx is a bit camera shy. Bye. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope to see you again on the next one. If you have any comments, any questions, and, or suggestions of other DIYs that you'd like me to share with you guys, don't hesitate to put them in the comment section. So that's it for today. Bye.